Uh, we're pumped at Prague and we love the Cubs. I'm Prague. Tim, you are not a truer word was spoken, sir. Um, oh. it's, it's time for Tin and Tinan's two minute taste test. Very difficult to say. Um, we've got the mother of all beers, you know, it's the granddaddy of them all, Tin, and Pilsner Urquell. Pilsner Urquell, yeah. The big one where it all started. It's actually in the name. It's the original Pilsner. I think it's in the name, uh, tra- roughly translated. Um, give me the poop on that, man. Give me well, the- yeah, exactly. This is this is the one that, uh, in theory at least, uh, all the other Pilsners uh, should be based on. Yeah. So give it a quick try. Yeah, give it a bit of a, uh, get your proboscis in there. You know what? It's a one word springs to mind for me. Tell me, spice. There's a spiciness in there. I'm not joking. I, I would say yeah, it's, it's a little, a little bit sweet. I mean, no. Um, you know, most people would say that wouldn't go well together with beer, but uh, there's definitely a, a, a spiciness to it. I've heard it said others say that, uh, but not everyone can taste it. It's a, it's a bit of a floral sort of aroma for me. Yeah, the taste is, is quite nice. I, mean, I, I quite like it for. Uh, for a pilsner or a, can we call it lager? I think it's, it's slightly different. It, but let's say that general genre. It is ubiquitous, isn't it? It's the it's the most popular beer in the country. Now, normally, normally it's a bit more expensive as well. It uh, is the most expensive uh, of, of the Czech beers, like true. Um, now, normally of uh, the national beer, the one that's the best known, not that it's a national beer, but it's look, a country's uh, best known beer. Usually they're rubbish, you know. I mean, I'm thinking Heineken, Heineken. Oh. Sorry, Tim. Um, but this won't name any more names. Um, this this uh, is a this is a nice. It's, it's, it's probably slightly bitter on the bitter side. Although the, even though they have got that spiciness, I'm not really sure if that gives you a bitter taste of what. But there's definitely a spice. There's a it's a florally florally kind of aroma. Light on the palate. Yeah, it's it's um, it's it's pretty nice taste. You know, I would, especially for for a lager, it goes down pretty well. Uh, maybe that's the reason for the popularity. The popularity and the fact it's and slightly more expensive. Huh? And marketing. Yeah, you uh, think the marketing is good? I mean, why else would Heineken be uh, so popular? Tina, what's the alcohol content? 4.4, I believe. Yeah, so I think you're right there. So it's sort of a, a it's not a really a heavy beer, it's very light. But yeah. coming from Belgium, of course, it's, uh, it's weak as Pierce. Yeah, and in comparison with many many Belgian beers, it's uh, yeah, a little a little lighter. But yeah, that's that's probably because we we've seen the way people people drink here. Huh? But enough mucking around, Tim. Give me your score, man. I'm gonna give it uh, again three and a half. I think it's uh, it's pretty good. Wow. It's uh, maybe not in the again the top top quality. Uh, personally speaking, but yeah, you, you could easily have this on, on many different occasions. You know? I, if, if someone were to offer me a Pilsner here, yes, uh, yeah. of course yeah. it would be this one. You're never disappointed. Um, not that anyone cares, I would give it a four. I quite like it. I don't mind it at all. Fair enough, yeah. You have to agree to disagree. He really is Prague's favourite Belgian.